Hey guys, I'm Googie, and today we're going to review this video which one of my viewers sent to me. Um, he wanted me ch to check it out. So this was on Mick Henry Cruiser, who, well, he did not go out of his house for a while, and the time he goes out, out of all places, he chooses Sizzler. So there's nothing wrong with going to a restaurant in and of itself, like you go uh, with a mask and everything. But no, this guy, this guy, <laughs> he, he goes out, he drives. He's not going to a grocery store. He's not going to the post office. No, first place he's going out of everywhere he can go for not going out in a while is a restaurant and he doesn't even wear his mask. So thank you snowman for recommending this video to me. Yo, how's it going my amigos? Uh, listen, a uh, young Negro talking about myself here. I'm, I'm gonna risk getting and contracting uh, the, you know, the, the virus uh, a second time. Uh wow. A second time? As if him catching the virus the first time wasn't enough. As if he did not learn the lesson the first time he caught it. I mean, I know back in March, there were a lot of people who didn't take the coronavirus seriously. And... Well... Needless to say, they caught it and they were hospitalized. Like they had a tough time breathing and everything. But wow, hopefully after a horrible experience like that, you would learn the lesson and you would try to do everything you can to avoid catching it again. Look at this guy. Notice how he's not even wearing a mask. Because, I, listen, I got to get out of the house. I'm going to Sizzler to get a steak trio. That's Malibu chicken steak. Uh, uh, not chicken steak, but Malibu chicken, comma, steak, uh, comma, uh, uh, fried. Uh. It seems like his dish is going to be pretty big. Dude, you don't go out of the house for a while. You're not even getting any exercise because, well, you're driving there. And you're going to, like, order... All that food? Come on, man. I mean, this guy obviously does not care about his health. You, you can just tell. He does. And like, over the food, do you really think it's worth catching the virus for a second time? I mean, I'm pretty sure the food tastes good, but I doubt it tastes that good that it's really worth, well, risking your life for. I'm, I'm on, on a diet. Uh, I'm trying to lose weight, but that's only a, you know, I, I googled the caloric amount. That's 1,118 calories, so I'm good. <laughs> with that huge meal and with him driving there, God, there is no way he's trying to lose weight. I mean, I can understand, like, maybe if he walks there and he's having that heavy meal to reward himself. Maybe I can understand him still saying that he's trying to lose weight, but no, he's driving there. And you lose weight by not going out of your house for like many days or even months at a time. I mean, I understand there's home workouts like yoga and you can follow along with exercise videos, but I'm not even sure if this guy does that. You know, uh, as I got out to do this, some fucking weirdo over there, employee of Sizzler, was walking to his car with a bag of food, and uh, he was giving me the stink eye, like, possibly because I'm wearing this bedazzled blazer and whatnot, and that fucking trucker over there just honked at me, like, it's like, damn, you never seen a guy in a fucking bedazzled blazer before? What the deuce? Oh, <laughs> this is Henry's signature move. He always brags about his blazer he thinks that other people aren't as handsome as him and he thinks he's that much more handsome just because he puts on a blazer i mean 
well, dude, it's not a commonality. It's not every day that you see someone dress up in a blazer just to go to Sizzler. But I don't even believe that that's the reason why people are looking at you or honking at you. I think the reason why people may be looking at you or honking at you is because you're not even wearing a freaking mask. Mask when the cases are rising and more people are dying due to the pandemic. And if, and what's to say that you don't already have the virus and that you wouldn't be spreading it to other people, dude? I mean, you already, it doesn't seem like you're taking any precautions against catching the virus and you already caught it once and you really think that this food at Sizzler's is worth catching it again and risking your life over. I mean, dude, if you catch it, just think about that hospital bill. I'm pretty sure it's gonna cost like way more than that Sizzler meal, dude. When they seated me outside, uh, you know, the waitress, I... Oh, finally, McHenry Cruiser got a bib. <laughs> I, it's like a bib. I guess it's for him to eat so that he doesn't end up spilling the food or getting stains on his bedazzled blazer. Uh, I don't even care how many views this gets, you a-holes. I know somebody's gonna bring that up. Oh, you only got 25 fucking views. So what? Okay, well here, it's not just the views in and of themselves that like people care so much about. I mean, however many views is however many views you get. But if this guy is a legend, a star, a Christ-like human being, and he thinks he should be famous, then why would some of his videos only get 25 views? I mean, if he was humble about it and if he was like humble like most YouTubers, I don't think anybody would have brought the issue of views of the fact that he's only getting 25 views. But dude, if you really think so highly of yourself and if you're like making yourself out to be like better than other people, dude, at least like have those views up, I guess. I mean... I know my videos don't get as many views as McHenry Cruiser's videos, and I appreciate all of my audience members who do view my videos. I appreciate all my viewers, and I even take viewer suggestions like for videos to do. Like for example, this one, and thanks again, Snowman, for the video. Yeah, I didn't tip. Uh, I was good at tip, the customary 20%, which would have been like five bucks. But I, I got tired of waiting for it to come outside, and uh, I was thinking to myself, listen, I'm not coming back here. It, the, the cost was like $19 and some odd cents. I'm not coming back here anytime soon, if ever again. I mean, it's not that Oh, my God. Yo, this guy is so disrespectful. I mean, dude, you didn't even leave a tip. You didn't even leave a small tip. Dude, like a five bucks tip. That is really like not a lot of money. I mean, I can understand like sometimes maybe some people don't have as much money to leave a huge tip, dude. But dude, you did not even leave a few bucks. Dude, what is wrong with you? And the food taking a while to come out. That is not the waiter's fault, dude. It takes time to cook the food. What you expect, like, that the food comes out as soon as you order it? Dude, it takes time to cook the food properly. I mean, for all we know, this guy might not mind eating raw meat. Like, as long, like if you put a burger together, you don't cook it, and like, you just serve it raw. He might not actually mind because, well, he didn't care about 
the fact that he's exposing himself to the virus and he's taking a higher risk just by not wearing a mask, even though this situation would have probably been like 10 times better if he had just worn a mask. And dude, I'm pretty sure his waiter didn't even want to approach him, but he's a customer, so she has no choice but to approach him and still serve him. Considering the fact that maybe a lot of people aren't even going to Sizzler at the time, so they don't want to kick out that like one customer who doesn't wear a mask because not as many people are going there anyways. But And dude, you know now since there's a pandemic going on and since not as many people are going to restaurants, you know the waiters are having a tough time, right? And dude, the fact that you don't even give a $5 tip just because you had to wait for the food, dude, that is so shallow. And dude, you're, you're going to like a Sizzlers, like what do you expect? Are you royalty? Are, are you a celebrity? I mean, you probably think you are, but that's not the case. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, bell notifications, and share. I'm Googie!